Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Samara Neri, and this is my inspired um, P Valley makeup look. So uh, I wasn't able to do an intro earlier. Hashtag mom life, you know. Um, but this is the look. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what I can do in the future or what I can do better. Just let me know. Peace, love, and light. So in shade number two, I'm taking P. Louise all over my eye and making sure I blend that out to give myself a smooth base to work with. So here I'm taking Lexture and I'm starting to put that all over my eye and pat it through and blend it out really, really good. So here I'm taking All Matte, I hope I'm saying it right, girl. But I'm taking that shade and I'm blending it out really, really good to make a nice transition so i'll be taking truant and placing that all over my lid that was so pigmented it was amazing then i'm gonna go in with sophomore and blend that out really really good so here i'm going in with the nessa myricks yummy skin glow serum and her foundation in the color 18g i blend it all together it it's it's like butter so I'll blend, I'm blending and stippling the brush. You will start seeing me like doing circular motions and sweeping motions just to get it all over my face. Now taking the concealer from the crayon case in the number seven, I will be placing the concealer underneath my eye um, in the middle of my forehead and also my cupid's bow. Once I take, once I finish that, I will take a damp beauty blender and blend it out seamlessly. When using the beauty blender, I use the wedge side, therefore I can get more into the crevices of my eye and the creases, just to make sure that it blends all out completely. Now taking my Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep, I'm going to place that underneath my eye once I place that underneath my eye, I want to take my fan, dry that down a little bit just to give it more full coverage. Once my concealer is dried down a little bit, I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and blend it out. And then I'm going to set it in place with the Black Opals Finishing Powder to just set it in place. From the Vanessa Myricks, I'm going to go in with my um, powder bronzer in the color Deep and just contour with it a little bit it's it's really dark but i end up blending it out later with my beauty blender i'm going to blend everything out then go in with a pressed powder from black opal just to make everything seamless going into my juvia's place bronzer palette in the color tan i'm going to take the second shade and put that in my cheekbones and my jawline now taking my juvia's place blush palette in volume one i'm taking the second shade and i'm placing that on my cheeks and blending it out seamlessly. Now taking my Light Worker palette from Danessa Myricks and I'm placing that in the highlights of my cheeks. Going back into my Varsity palette, I'm gonna take the shade Sophomore and put that in the lower lash line. Going into my Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes, I'm gonna place that on my eye. Taking Beats by Deb, I'm gonna place that over the additional highlight just to give it an extra pop. With my bronzer, I'm going to start contouring my nose. I'm going to take the tan palette and then I'm going to start going in with the dark palette just to darken it up a little bit. Give it more of a chisel look, a sculpture look. Going in with the lightest shade from Danessa Myers, I'm going to place that in the bridge of my nose and on the tip of the nose and blend it out with the beauty blender. With the same brushes that I use on my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash here. And with the new Juvia's Place palette in the color Flower, I'm going to place it on the eye and set my face with the Morphe setting spray. Here I'm taking a translucent powder and just setting my face. Here are the Juvia's Place lashes that I wore. Using my ABH pencil, I'm going to draw my eyebrows. Then I switch over to the pomade from Crayon Case and I start drawing and filling in my brows. Now taking rumors, I'm going to go back underneath my eye just to darken it just a little bit. 
Taking my Morphe mascara, I'm going to start placing that to bind the lashes and my lashes together. So here I'm taking my lash glue and reapplying my lashes and then drying them down with my fan. If you want this fan, I'll leave it down below. Now taking my Juvia's Face Lip Liner in the color Brownie and I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm taking my favorite lip gloss in the color Milkshake from NYX. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye lovelies.